Hello viewers, welcome back to another video on my 2017 Julia. Uh, currently I'm out enjoying my car in less than ideal conditions. It is currently 45 degrees, raining, the road surfaces are wet, and if you own one of these cars, you know exactly where I'm going with this statement. These cars absolutely suck with traction control. It steps in at the earliest, just like that, at the earliest point that it thinks you're going to start slipping and it's a very invasive system. So, there's a fix, good news. If you own one of these cars or are planning on buying one of these cars, just know that there is a fix for this problem. And it is this DNA race mode selector. In a previous video, which I'll link to up above, I showed you how to install this physically into the car. Today we're driving to the shop, I'm gonna get the laptop out, and I'm gonna show you how to program this using multi-ECU software. Now there are a couple caveats to this statement. One, the software will technically void your warranty, which it tells you immediately upon downloading and installing the software. Two, this is a 2017 model, so if you own a certain 2018s or definitely 2019 or newer, they have security lockout codes that prevent you from doing a lot of these modifications. There is a workaround to it, but I'm not familiar with it because I didn't need to do it to get my car to to work with multi-ECU scans. So I'll see if I can find another video or a portion on multi-ECU scans website and list that below. Um, I'm also going to relist the part number for this, the OEM part number, so that you can search for it that way as well, whether you wanna buy it new from the dealership or do what I did and purchase it used online from a junkyard dealership, or a junkyard, Jesus. Now that said, this does a wonderful thing when you go up and select race mode. Turns on or turns on the ESC off light, which in disables the electronic stability control. So why is this good? Well, if you track the car like I do, uh, it's very helpful uh, both to allow the car to slide a little bit in certain situations, as well as allowing you to not one of the ways this traction control works is via rear brake application. When you're on the track and it's always constantly applying the rear brakes because it senses wheel spin, it is going to overheat your rear brakes way sooner than if you were just tracking the car normally. That's a big deal, especially considering the rear brakes on the base model aren't very big at all. So let's go ahead and get the laptop out, plug it in, and see what we need to change. All right guys, so I've got the uh, Julia put in the shop now. Um, I've powered the car to the on position, engine not running, but simply foot off the brake, press the start stop button. And I plugged in our cable, our OBD2 cable that was provided to me when I bought multi-ECU scan. So then we're gonna open the software and I've already got it pulled up because this is the only vehicle I do, but this can do multiple vehicles. If you've got a Fiat 500 or certain Jeeps, I guess it can also work on those. But we're gonna select Alfa Romeo, the Julia two liter, it's turbo, 16 valve multi-air. And we're gonna come down here under the system settings and we're gonna to go to the body and then we're gonna select can setup proxy alignment procedure. What this is is essentially a can device which is basically car USB. So what we're doing is we're just telling it that we've unplugged one device and we've plugged a new one in and then we have to go through and do what's called a proxy alignment to complete that setup. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to connect to the ECU We're going to come over here to the adjustments tab and down here we see the dynamic control selector type 1 selected. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to execute and it's going to ask you which dynamic control selector you have. Option 1 is not present, then you have type 1, type 2 DNA, and type 3 DNA sport. The knob I use uses a type two DNA selector. I believe the type threes are off the Stelvio QFs, but I'm not 100% sure. I also think that that is the same physical size and shape and could work for you, but I would stick to looking for a Julia one and use the part number that I provided so that all of these settings work the same for you. So go ahead and select type two DNA and hit okay. It's gonna ask you to confirm that this is the type of control selector that you have you're going to select yes. Now, once it's made that change, you can see it highlighted here as changed, but it hasn't been saved to the vehicle yet. 
To get it safe to the vehicle, you have to come up here and complete a proxy alignment procedure. This is where it resets all the network CAN bus um, to the car. So, do not interrupt this procedure under any circumstances. You could essentially brick your vehicle, and that's going to be a tow to the dealership and having them reset it. Not cheap. So please follow the instructions on the screen, even if they vary from what I've said, because different versions of the software may look a little bit different in screen. So please follow the instructions. I'm going to kind of show you how it goes on this version with this car. If you've got a 2019, there may be additional steps. Or if you have a newer or older version of multi-ECU scan, there also may be additional steps. So that's kind of my warning. Don't get too crazy with this and just start following every button. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and execute that. And it asks you to read all the notes. I encourage you to do the same. So now it's writing the proxy data. It may, again, depending on your year, it may ask you for different cables or depending on what you've done because it's talking to different body control modules. For the DNA selector, I don't think it needs another cable. It never did with my vehicle, but if it asks you for a gray cable or a blue cable, that's these little jumper cables, go ahead and install that and then follow the prompts. So now I want you to turn the key off press yes to continue, and it takes you back out to the main screen and the alignment proxy alignment procedure is completed. At this point, you can disconnect the software, or shut down the software, disconnect your OBD connector. Once you've disconnected your OBD cable, um, you can shut down your laptop. You're pretty much done with that. Go out and drive the car and confirm that everything works. If it didn't work, go back in and just make sure that it took i've had it happen a couple times where the proxy alignment said it worked everything said it went through and it didn't i just redid it and it worked just fine so that pretty much wraps it up for today if you like what you saw give me a thumbs up if you have any questions leave it in the comments below i'll try to get back to you as quickly as i can and maybe even uh, this video was created because of some user comments so if you have more questions we can create some more videos as well thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video